Hello, all you shiny, happy people. There it is. At least where we're at right now with it. The GE-71 facility. There it looks on the outside. As you can see, it has transformed quite a bit since episode 27. This is episode 28. Hey, everybody, this is Radio Man 3. Good to have you along. It's Let's Play Minecraft on the Xbox 360. What do you think? What do you think of her, huh? Isn't she gorgeous right now? She's coming along real nice, I think. And, uh, you know, still tinkering, still tinkering with uh, things. We're coming at you here at the beginning from the, uh, the blacksmith shop. Ha, silk touch on the shovel. Giddy up. This is it. This is what I've come up with. We're going to go inside. I'm going to take you upstairs, and we'll give you a nice tour of the whole thing. Oh, wait. we got to... We need to... Uh, Look at that sheep up there just distracted me quickly. I've been trying to gather wool so we can check out the sheep eating grass and, of course, make uh, make carpet. Here's the other side of it. Oh, man. So there's our room right there. There's a room right there. Opposite side of that as well. Oh, he must have eaten the grass already. He's got his wool back. There he goes. He's eating it right there. Ta-da! And we can share him again. Give it back to me, baby. Nice, huh? That's great to have them regrowing their wool. Boink. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Should we see if we can see it there? See, there, that's where he ate. Let's see if he does it that fast again. Well, we'll take you on a tour around the outside of the uh, facility so that you can uh, take a look at the redstone that I have going on up there. And at the end of the video, we'll go ahead and... Oh, there he is. Bingo! Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. What do you think? Huh? What do you think of that? When we come at the end of the video, we'll come back out here and we'll do some touch-up work because uh, I haven't quite finished what I started in regards to this right here. But what do you think of the design? This has got the uh, nether brick stairs going up the uh, column here. So I've got, I had one here, but uh, I ran out. But I've, I've got more nether brick now. So we'll have those going up the edges all the way around. We've got these beautiful windows right here. Wait till you see what these windows do. You know, after episode 27, I look back at those windows and I, I kind of had, I sounded hesitant in the video, I think, as far as liking those windows. And um, we changed them up. We changed them up. We'll go upstairs in just a bit. I need to uh, enchant a diamond pick. We've got 23 XP, so I'm going to go ahead and enchant one. Uh, Rascal, and our friend is here. I had some wonderful suggestions for names for him, for our buddy here. And I decided to combine two names together. This is John Cole. He is the head of the GE71 security. This uh, name comes from both Gamer Gold and Gear Up. Gear up wanted it long nose, long nose John, and uh, Gamer Gold just said Cole, C O L E. So this is I put them together. This is John Cole, and that's who you will be from now on, Mr. Cole. Thank you so much for your services here at the GE71 facility. And Rascal, of course, he's just always happy to see us. Let's go downstairs. We're going to enchant this pick. Thanks, guys, for the uh, the ideas on the name. I love it. It was perfect. I sat there and thought about it and thought about it and thought about it. Let's go John Cole. We'll squeeze two of them in there. Indeed, indeed. So I've got some nether brick that we're going to work on the outside with. I've done more work uh, just about everywhere in the uh, GE71 facility. Just about everywhere. Uh, but uh, there's a few things I meant to show you in the last episode and did not. I swapped out the oak planks for the spruce planks right here. Curious as to what you guys think of that darker color there. And I also took out the oak stairs and put in the spruce stairs along here. I think they look pretty sweet, actually, up against the uh, spruce column. So, uh, there we go. I made a little change there. And I thought this would give us kind of a, a way to look and gauge whether we like uh, this color or we like the regular oak planks. And why isn't there an oak plank underneath that? Hmm. See, it's things like that I run into that I, 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 I fix. I, I find and I fix them. Let's make a diamond pick and enchant it. My pick broke as I was preparing for the episode, so I thought, well, what the heck. We have not been in the enchantment room for a little bit. Let's go ahead and enchant a pick. I went to the nether and got a bunch of stacks of uh, nether brick, but all I got was, uh, I got three and a half stacks of 
Nether brick. I got a bunch of nether rack. <laughs> to make nether brick. Oh, that nether. Such a tongue twister for me. Uh, okay, 23. Give me a 23. We want to use them all. Come on. I guess I'd take a 22. Maybe we'll get a 22 out of this. Come on. You can do it. Well, heavens to mercy. I thought this was going to go a lot faster than this. Come on, I got 23. There we go. There's a 22. Efficiency 3. So it's just a diamond pick. That's going to break things real fast again. That's okay. It's all right. We need it. We'll go. I'm going to have to go back to the nether anyways and get a whole bunch of stuff. Let's go upstairs. Level 3. I thought we'd do a little decorating in there and get the rooms kind of set up a little bit and and uh, do do that sort of stuff. And then, like I said, towards the end of the episode, we'll go back outside and uh, add some more nether brick out there and kind of touch things up out there because it's not quite complete, that's for sure. And uh, a reminder again that we do have a couple more floors coming to this thing, so we aren't... Uh, we aren't as big as we're going to get, that's for sure. Not yet. Oh, real quick, I should tell you. Um, I don't know if the update made the mob spawn in less light, but all of a sudden I had creepers and zombies and skeletons spawning all over the place. So I put in a, some more glowstone in both this room and uh, let's go back downstairs real quick and I'll show you down here too. And if you notice, this room's a little brighter too, hopefully. And I think you'll be able to see it better as well. But I put glowstone above each of the chests here all the way around and then more down the center here they're just i had zombies spawning in here i had a creeper spawn over by the furnaces over there and um i was just unsatisfactory they don't belong in here so i kicked them out just get the heck out of my facility so here we are the ge 71 third floor the living quarters what the heck he sounds like he's right up here he's not okay um he's not is he He's not in here, is he? <laughs> no, he's not. Okay, all right. Back back to the tour, ladies and gentlemen. John Cole's office, head of security. We met him downstairs. He's that fine gentleman in the uh, the monk wardrobe. Head of security, so I put some iron bars in a uh, an item frame. I thought that looked kind of cool. Give the room some uh, give, give the room a little look. I'm gonna take you outside. This is the security room. Remember. So when I had an idea in here, and I'm already getting myself sidetracked, so uh, it's classic radio episode here. Uh, I thought we'd do something like this. Okay, so now he's got, uh, John Cole's got himself a counter to be dealing business here through the window as he, you know, provides security to the GE-71 facility. And over here, uh, actually we have to go outside first. I'm going to do a piston like a workbench over here. And then, I don't know what else I'm going to put in this room yet. I haven't quite decided yet. Let's uh, go outside here. This is the uh, redstone wiring. goes all the way around the building. Let's go ahead and put a torch right there. Um, oh, I should show you what it does first, right? We have security shutters on the GE-71 facility. The security shutters. Blocks out all the rooms. Now all the way around okay every window has got a security shutter on it so then you come over here and you can hit the switch and boom they open up and you can see back out again all the way around the building all the way around so now in proper order let me show you the redstone okay we got it this is just like the chest and everything else it's really a very basic design as i've mentioned before i am no redstone genius i've got a few of the basics down and just enough to bring my world alive every time i decide to play one but we got the inverted torch, of course, so on is on, off is off, security is off right now. And then I've got redstone on this block. This torch sends power to this block, which activates the redstone that's sitting on top of this block, which sends it to this block, which then runs the wiring up underneath here. And this wire runs all the way around the building up top, and it controls the upper pistons, okay? This controls the bottom. So we've got our repeaters push, uh, set up against our pistons, and we run redstone right around, and we just re rinse and repeat each time. So we've got a bunch of repeaters here. And I left them exposed because this is a facility, and I think it looks very industrial to have redstone showing and glowing and stuff like that. This place looks pretty cool at night with the redstone up here glowing like that. Um, but it, it just follows around, and then we've got the repeaters in locations like that because the connection died. 
So the repeater sends it another 15 blocks. So now we come around here and we hook up and we just keep on going around. And it's just like this all the way around. It just continues to, to move forward. Now if I wanted to, I could do the same thing I do with the uh, security doors. If I do this, it'll make it so that these open uh, not in all at once, but staggered. So let's, uh, matter of fact, let's do that. We'll do that. So if I come along to each one of these, okay, that's going to delay it four ticks till it gets to that window. And this should delay it from the very first window there at the switch. Oops. That should delay it over to this window. Look at the mobs out here, man. Gee, Merry Christmas. Oof. I've been dropping torches out here, trying to light it up a little bit, so we've uh, got a little room to work with. But man, look at that. They're everywhere, and you can hear a zombie. He's so close by. All right, four ticks. Four ticks is what I was saying. All right, and we got that one there. Okay, and then we come around here, and we'll do this one. That'll delay it getting to this window. And uh, we can do either one of these. There we go. Bingo. So yeah, these are the rooms. This is this is uh, my room, the settler's room. Remember, we are the settlers. I thought, you know, instead of captain or lieutenant or commander or any of that stuff, let's, let's go with that. That sounds good to me. The settlers. The settlers of the GE-71. So yeah, you can make it all the way around here. Nothing could spawn up on, on this platform because the redstone's here. Now they could spawn right there. I thought it'd be kind of funny to actually have something spawn up here and you could see it through the window. But uh, I don't think anything is going to spawn up here. Let's put some torches out, though, just in case. He must be just on the ground below us here. He's just dying to get at us. Where is he? He's crazy. Where is that guy? So that's the redstone. Um, hope you like it. Hope you like how that worked, look, worked out. This is the only part of this I'm not happy with, is that there's not a block right there. But there's not much I can do about that, as, as far as I know. Anyways. Let's take that out of there. Take this out of here. And we are going to set up a piston workbench. It has no function whatsoever. It's just the box. Let's do that. And I know I've got a couple pistons on me. There they are. There you are. And let's go like that. And like a... Oops. Doggone it. Now I gotta go down in there, break out a block. <laughs> Let's get the zombie flesh out of here. I grabbed some zombie flesh for uh for the dog. Gotta take care of the dog. Come on. There we go. So just a simple workbench right there. That works for me. And we got that table in here so we can conduct business at the window. And I think this room is good to go. We'll add a well, you know what? Let's add one bookshelf in here. Let's do that. Let's do that up in the corner here. Hmm, that's going to be too dark. I'm going to have to get more glowstone too to to get this lit up because yeah, it's going to be it's going to be an issue, that's for sure. And uh do I like that up there? I don't know. That's going to have to Hmm. Let's see what it looks like from outside the door. The doors are just iron doors with the uh pressure plates front and back. Like so. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's got his manuals and stuff up there. Sometimes John Cole has got to look things up in order to figure out how things work around here. Security shutters. They're closing individually. Ooh, I think that worked. Did that work all the way around? It sure did. Look at that. We're all closed up nice and tight. Nice and tight. Real quick, I want to give this room to Gamer Gold 474 I think he's one of the very first subscribers, first or second. And uh, Gamer Gold, you have been, uh, you've commented, I think, on just about every video I've ever put up. And I told you you were going to have the lounge someday. I just don't know when that's going to happen. But at that point in time, we'll, uh, we'll we'll put your name on the lounge as well. But uh, here's a room to keep you keep you going for now. And I'll I'll go ahead and uh, finish this out. We'll finish out these rooms. Oh. One more thing I would like to do in this room back here, since we're in the process of kind of making these rooms uh, decorated up. Let's do something like that there. We could probably do that right there, actually. That doesn't look too bad. How about we put one of these here and one of those there? 
and we'll just throw a little iron bar action in here and that will give it just a little more a little more feel to it a little more feel I think I like let's see something real quick can I get one right there I sure can I'm gonna leave that right there yeah okay and then like I said we'll put glowstone on the ceiling here and that should light up this room plenty and uh, we'll be good to go but there there's the security there's John Cole's office John Cole's office. And then I want to do up these rooms as well. We'll, go, we'll put beds in here and uh, bookshelves and uh, uh, tables and stuff like that and just make them look like uh, the rooms, their executive rooms. Your gamer Gold's room. So we'll do the same thing in here. We'll get this, uh, we'll get the rooms kind of decorated up a little bit and uh, looking good is what we'll do. Let's see, do I have any more? I don't have any more of those pressure plates. And, uh, but I do. Do I have wood on me right now? I don't have wood on me either. I wanted to make, uh, we can make the beds. How many wools did I get? Twelve. So let's make the beds real quick and get those put in here and then we'll go from there. Because it's important to put the bed first. I think it's important to do that first. Look at that timing. Right on the money. Right on the money. What do I need? Six of these? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's six, right? To make a bed. We've only made uh, a couple so far. Oh. I do believe I just placed that. Yep. There we go. We got the beds. That's an axe. There we go. That's better. That works much better. Alright, let's go back upstairs and get the beds placed. It's coming along, I tell you guys, it's coming along. I was thinking to myself today, no, we don't want to put a bed in the security room. No, sir, we do not want to do that. I was thinking to myself today that by episode 35, I would like to have the GE-71 facility, uh, the main building, done. Is what I'd like to have, is the main building done. Let's do that right there. And uh, I should have made... Uh, some pressure plates while I was downstairs. Anyways, we'll put tables in here, and uh, I'll rig up a couple of chairs, maybe, and that'll be the room. And then I will, uh, I'll carpet it too. I did go with the blue. I went with the blue because when you put the blue down and you've got this nether brick so close to it like that, the blue really looks good. I think. I think it looks good, really good. I use the nether brick slabs in between here as opposed to the uh, stone slabs, which is what we've been using. But I put these in here. I thought that added to the room real nice. It gives it... I like the brick. I like how this room is turning out. It looks real smooth. Looks uh, industrial and sort of facility space age-like. And just has a nice... It's got a nice feel to it. I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys like the uh, the third floor of the GE-71 facility. i get a quick drink of water here. So, okay, there's the third floor, and like I said, we'll uh, I'll do some decorating in here, and I will get this all kind of lined up and figured out, and then on the next episode, we will uh, show you how it turns out, the finished product. I guess there's one more thing I would like to put in here before I say we're not going to do anything more in here. I don't know how much of the building you guys like to see. Uh, I know the caving. There's a few of you that really like the caving stuff, but uh, how many of you actually like to watch... Uh, this process, the, the taking and the finishing of the room. That would be a, that's a good question, I think, for you. Let's take a couple of these, and uh, let's grab these sticks. We've got six more wool, so I think, somebody took fall damage. Who took some fall damage? Okay. Uh, let's, let's see about some artwork. Uh, paintings, I haven't done one of these yet. Let's do, yeah, let's do four paintings. Let's take those up with us. And then I want, uh, do I have leaves? I'm pretty sure I've got leaves. We have to have some leaves, right? Uh, you know what? The, where they are, though? They're right down in the dirt box. Yep, there they are. Let's go with the uh, oak leaves. Yeah, let's go with the oak leaves. I want to add some green third floor. It would seem to me that although, yes, this is a facility, and yes, this is a secure area and all that good stuff, and I love how my imagination works. I just love it. I love it. 
makes this game so much more fun. You know, you gotta have a little bit of home in a place like this, right? You've gotta make it look comfortable and and uh, let's let's do a painting. No. So left trigger painting. And you just keep doing that until you get the one you want. I think it's gonna just come on, give me give me a double. There we go. Uh, I don't like that one though. No. No creepers allowed. I said no creepers allowed. Come on. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> I think it was gonna take this long. What's it? There's only two of you two of you double frame posters? This these pictures will cover this would would cover this whole wall if it was flat, but it's not. It's I just want a, a two. Hmm. Alright, we'll go with that one now because I'm I'm tired of fiddling with it. And then on this side we'll do the same thing, but we'll put the wood on this side of it. This hallway's a little bit bigger. And we'll do that. And let's do another painting over here. That's the same one we just got. Hmm. Alright, we'll go with that. We'll go with that one right there. I guess we need one more, don't we? We do need one more right here. I don't have any more trees, though. Any more plant material. Spruce logs. I don't have any spruce logs. Come on, give me a two. There we go. There we go. All right, let's get that... Uh, we need one more piece of spruce wood. Let's grab that real fast. We can do it real fast. We can do it real quick. Shoo. Not to mention we get to run around the awesome facility for a little while, right? Kill some time. So the security shutters, you know, after looking at those windows when we were, after I got done with episode 27, and, you know, I watched to make sure it's ready to go and all that good stuff, and I was like, man, you know what? They just don't look right. They look like bug eyes. So I decided to, uh, change them up. And then it dawned on me that at one point in time, I really wanted to do, try security shutters out. <laughs> I don't think I want to see that every time we walk upstairs. Darkness and evil. I don't think so. Not in my, not in my place. No, sir. No, get out of here. No, we already got that one, too. Uh, it's a birthday cake. Oh, there we go. There we go. How's that for some sophistication, huh? Look at that. What a work of art. All right, we'll leave those there for now. We'll go with those. Oh, I should have grabbed one more spruce log. I didn't even think about that. Doggone it. I'll take care of that myself. I'm not going to put you through that since I was the uh, the boob that forgot to grab it to begin with. Uh, it's daytime right now still, so that's good. Let's uh, open the shutters. Yeah, all the way around. Now you can hear them opening. That's great. That is awesome. Uh, let's see. One of the... Th Where is this guy? He is like... Is he trapped under the floor? Is, he's not trapped in the floor, is he? He's right here somewhere. I'm going to have to find him. He's new. He's new. There's, there's, there's got to be some kind of a dark void where all the redstone is that he managed to find a dark enough spot to spawn on, and now he's trapped inside there. So he's not, he's not going to go anywhere. But he's definitely trapped under the floor down there. Let's take one more look at the uh, third floor of the GE 71 facility, living quarters. Living quarters. Hope you guys like that. We'll put, uh, of course, uh, you know, more more glowstone, and I'll have to go to the Nether and get some glowstone. But uh, that's that's the gist of it right there. Third floor, baby. 
All right, and these are our final two floors, and I want to try to explain this so you guys can understand and see in your head. I'm desperately trying to get you to see what I'm thinking about here. This is going to come up another a total of six blocks, okay? I'm going to just make a short little example of it here. How many are we up now? One, two, three, four. Okay, so six blocks total is what I want to go up. Four, five, six. So, okay, our next floor, <laughs> the fourth floor, is this high, okay? On top of this block, we're going to build the ceiling to this room. But this room is also going to open up into the fifth floor. So, there'll be stairs, I'm going to say probably right about... Mm, this is tough to say. This is really, really tough to say where the stairs are going to be. But just for the, the viewing sake of it, we'll do something like this. Tell me I've got more blocks on me. I do, I do, I do. Okay, so then we've got we've got stairs coming up this way, okay? This is going to go up to the next floor, which is going to open. It'll, it'll be all open right here. You'll be able to see down below to this floor from up here. So sort of a catwalk type floor up here, all the way around the edge. And then down on this floor, where these six, you know, we've, we're going to keep this six blocks high, like I said, because on this floor is where we'll have... Um, we'll bust out, say, we got a problem with the stairs right there, but it's not that big of a problem. We will break out right about, right about here, probably, right where I had those blocks that were missing. And we'll do a pathway. Oh, boy, that is, that is brutal. That zombie is just a pain. Uh, we'll do <laughs> a causeway that goes out this way with the rail cart, and we'll be able to ride it. And from the up upper floor you'll be able to see all the different rail lines down here so there'll be cart rail carts going off in this direction as I've mentioned before we'll go off in this direction we'll go off in that direction and so on and so forth wherever we need one we'll be able to punch one into the wall here and and build the basically it's gonna be a tube it'll be this stone going straight out in sort of a upside down half circle shape and then above it will be glass in upper dome so it'll be almost like a tube going straight out and then a rail line on it so you can jump in a cart hit a button and boom you'll be transported out very quickly I hope that gives you an idea and I'm thinking about having most of uh, the wall construction and stuff almost done by the next episode I would like to have that almost done I'm kind of eager to get this this main building constructed and done although I think everyone's kind of enjoying the process with me which is great I'm, I'm pretty picky about this stuff it I can sit and nitpick this area to death all day long over and over and over again like this right here these glass these were these blocks just before I started recording I thought you know glass blocks might look better in there we should put glass blocks in there and so I did so that's just kind of how my process works I do that. That's how I. That's how I do it. Let's sleep. Then I want to take you outside and uh, show you one other thing outside. I did mention we wanted to put some, uh, get some of this nether brick put up on the outside walls. So we've got those uh, looking sharp. We got to clean up the the outer edge too and make sure we've got that taken care of, just to make it look uniform all the way around the building. Okay, mobs are gone, but that doesn't mean anything. Because we did have you who, huh? That zombie, I don't know. Yeah, he's got to be stuck. He's a bit. He's stuck. That zombie is stuck right in this corner over here, because that side has got the redstone for the second floor uh, storage room on it. And so when you punch through the floor, you you wind up seeing all that redstone. But he's in a void right in there. I'm gonna find him and get rid of him. Uh, I misspoke on a recent video. You can also run on the wheat and it will not break. Okay? It's when you jump on it that it breaks. 
So jumping oh, breaks it, but running, no effect on it. It's it's really nice to not have to worry about it. So boom jump. Oh, didn't break it. Cool. But you can walk on it all day long. In next episode, we are going to turn these into semi-auto wheat farms. I need to get a good source of wheat going. And it's sitting right here, and I've talked about turning these into semi-wheat farms, and we are going to turn these into semi-auto wheat farms. These, I think what I'll do is I'll do a pumpkin and watermelon patch that are semi-auto. Actually, they will be automatic. They'll just uh, pop the melons up and we'll grab them. And then we'll turn the rest of these into semi-auto wheat farms as well. So we can just run around, hit a switch, the water will push the wheat to us, we pick it up, we replant the seeds, we move on to the next one, but we'll be able to harvest a bunch of food off of these uh, from the villagers, that's for sure. And uh, that's, that's the plan there. That's the plan, man. That's the plan, is to get the, uh, the wheat farm going semi-auto wheat farms it'll be a fun project we'll do that on we'll, i will record that okay i'll probably do a lot of them off record but then we'll save one of them one each like uh, this one and then the melon farm we'll save that and i'll do that on the camera and we'll we'll struggle through that redstone project together you would not believe how long it took me to get this taken care of it uh it was quite a task it was so if we look at this i'm going to clean up the building I've got the nether brick underneath here hiding the bottom of the pistons. Now, I didn't hide all of the redstone as I mentioned because I do like the way it looks. It's got a very uh, industrial space. You know, if you watch those, you watch sci-fi movies, you see the, the, the gears and what makes things work all the time. They, they leave that out there on purpose. So you can see it. That's what makes it, uh, I guess, futuristic. Space age, right? So let's get these cleaned up. Boom, boom. Like so. Uh, do, I do have a crafting bench with me. Wonderful. Let's grab that and put that down here on the ground. And let's get some nether brick stairs real quick. Oh, look at my nether brick going away. Doggone. And it's, man, it takes a lot to get nether brick. You've got to harvest a lot of uh, nether rack to get this stuff. I tell you, it's, uh, it's expensive. I've been uh, kind of uh, excavating the um, uh, the, uh, the nether fortress. The nether rack that I've been harvesting from there, I went ahead and I've just been kind of um, going around it and taking a lot of it off the tops and the sides and kind of unburying it like I did with the stronghold downstairs. The same sort of thing I'm doing uh, upstairs or on, on the uh, nether fortress. Exposing the fortress, so to speak. It's pretty spectacular, I think. A lot of ours is buried, it seems. So, uh, did I put one at the very bottom of that? Uh, yeah, did I do that over here too or did I skip the bottom one and not do that? Well, actually, you know what? I know why it's not there because this I've got to work out. I'll figure this, I'll figure something out for this right here. I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to cover this part up right here, but we'll uh, we'll work it out. It's got to be there, so it's just going to be there. But we'll make it blend in and, and look like it's uh, like it's supposed to be there, right? All right, and I'm going up too high on the bottom here. So do I need? Okay, I need one right here. I put too many on the other side. And we're going to run this too high across the bottom. This way we get rid of that, as uh, I think uh, Gamer Gold put it, the uh, a stone cube. It did. It looked like a cube. And I, Yeah, I've always thought about that. It did, it did look like a cube. But this is kind of how we're going to give the building some three dimension to it, some, some character. And then, like I said, you know, you put that next floor up there, and then the glass top that's going to go on the top floor. Um, doesn't it look impressive? I think it looks very impressive. It looks really solid. I'm liking how this is turning out. I really am. I hope you guys like this. Uh, where was I? What was I saying? Well, it's easy to just distract me, isn't it? 
Just so easy to throw me right off course. Lovely. What the heck was I talking about? I'm gonna watch this back and so you were talking about that radio. What the heck do you think you were talking about? And there we go. How about the bottoms of those? Okay, we've got the bottoms of those all figured out. Let's go back and take a look. Didn't have as much uh, cleanup to do as I thought we were going to have. Okay, now you see that? Okay, that goes up like that. Okay, now we're going to put two more blocks. So this is going to be, this wall will be a total of eight blocks high. We'll put two up there so we've got the double, we've got a ceiling and a floor. And then we'll do the catwalk around the edge and then on top of that is the glass that goes on top of it. So it's going to be, it'll look really cool from whichever direction we're coming from and approaching it. It's going to look pretty awesome. Somehow I feel like it's it's still difficult to kind of picture how it's going to be, but uh, I can see it in my head, trust me. If you like what we've got so far, then you're going to love what you see uh, coming up on episodes 29, 30 to 35 when we get done with this thing. Oh man, are we going to need some sand. We are going to need so much sand for glass. It's going to be unbelievable. Stacks upon stacks of it. Which means we will probably run out of coal. Which means we will have to go coal holing and get us some more coal so we've got a, a good stock of it. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you like it. The GE71 outer shell of the facility. Let's just put these here for now. You need to come out. You need to go in there. Maybe what I can do is uh, turn this into another brick out here. That might actually fit better. Try that out and see if I like that. If it looks good. We'll try to figure a way to... We'll, we'll get that to blend in. We'll definitely get that to blend in. Hey, chicken, how you doing? So what do you think? Let me know. Let me know. You got a thumbs up on this thing? You got a like? You got a like for the way that looks? Doesn't that look freaking awesome? impressive we have arrived we have arrived you know what I should do since you guys have already seen it open let's uh let's go up and close the shutters we'll come back out and take a look let's do that let's do it let's do it chicka chicka chicken chicka chicka chicky oh I did get uh, another ender pearl I've been, while I've been working on this, I keep my eyes open. As you can see, I am wearing my armor because I have been seeing Endermen out uh, in the desert, especially at night when I'm working on stuff. So I've been uh, uh, running out every time I see one and fighting them to, to get their pearls, and I've only gotten one so far. So, Yeah, he is right down underneath this floor. I'll get rid of him. I almost want to go down there right now with you guys and, and see him. I know exactly where he is. I know exactly where that guy is. So let's take a look at this thing with the uh, doors closed. There you go. Let me hop up a little bit. I'll give you guys a look at it. Oh, for Pete's sake. There we go. See the glow? It gives it a real nice industrial look. Let's go up a little bit higher. We're never going to be, of course, this high coming in, but as you come in from the carts, though, as you approach it, you will be going over the top of that and seeing it down below as you ride in, so that'll be neat. But yeah, there's the shutters. I just used the, the smooth stone brick. Those are the shutters. And then, yeah, you flick that lever and they pop open and, uh, you know, they look awesome. They look really awesome. There's my watermelon. Ah, yes, watermelon. <laughs> Not the best food to use to uh, sustain yourself on Minecraft, but uh, it's what we got right now. That's why I want to get these things going. So next episode, I will have more of the next two floors uh, completed, or at least uh, laid out so you guys can see which direction we're headed. Much better than probably I could describe today. But uh, we'll do that, and uh, episode 29, we'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at what we've got going on for the fourth and fifth floors, and we'll get these semi-auto farms going, so food's not going to be an issue, which will be wonderful. And there is one more topic I wanted to hit before 
I say goodbye and an end to the episode. I am not so sure that the shadow glitch has been handled. There was an update this week that was supposed to deal with the shadow glitch. Now when I put a torch up, the light does spread evenly and quickly. There's no more of that waiting a second for the light to kick in. But, but, we do have an issue when it comes to opening these, these doors here. Watch it not do it now. Earlier today, while I was getting things set up, I was getting shadow glitches inside on these blocks as I opened and closed these security doors. Huh, now it's not doing it. But I was having to come over and uh, drop a torch like that and it would update all the blocks around it and then it would go away. So apparently, now it's not doing it. I wonder if I was maybe having an issue with lag or something. I don't know. We've had some bad storms here. Well, well we had a bad wind storm, actually. It's like 70 mile an hour wind gusts here. It was ridiculous. So I think the companies are all having a, you know, anytime you get a storm, power, internet, all that stuff gets messed up with, so... Anyways, yeah, it doesn't look like it's happening anymore, so that's... Hmm. I'm going to keep track of that. All right, guys. I hope you like it. Thanks for all the comments. Thank you for all the feedback. I really appreciate that. I really enjoyed uh, getting uh, getting comments from you guys and, and helping me out. We had suggestions on the carpet. EICJC liked the blue, and I have to agree. I, I like the way the blue looks with the brick. And um, Gear Up and Gamer Gold, you guys were talking about the name and... And stuff for uh, John Cole at a GE 71 security at your service. What can I get you for? And uh, you know, so you guys helped out. I love it. I'm having a good time with you guys. This is the Radio Man 03. You know what to do. Give me the like, subscribe, comment. I'll talk to you again next time.